This is the WildView 2.0 Extreme Game Camera. It catches digital photographs of um, any animals or any movement that comes past. Here you have the sensor in the camera. Here there's a flash for at uh, night and the evening. This is the viewfinder that shows how many pictures have been taken and tells you if the camera is functioning or not. Uh, I've written a piece of tape on here that says it's for our environmental biology class project. Please do not disturb. Yavapai College on the inside will put uh, the phone number. The camera comes with a strap that can be used to tie it to a tree or tie it around a rock. You'll notice this camera does not have any locking device, so anybody who does find this, it's important to have some information. Hopefully that would deter somebody from walking away with this. On the inside, you'll notice it takes C batteries. During the winter time, it can chew through these C batteries pretty quick depending on temperatures. The colder it is, the faster these batteries are used up. It also uh, utilizes an SD card slipped into this um, slipped into this device here. Uh, you'll notice that I can change the settings. This is off now, but when I slip it to on, I'll be able to set the time. Each picture will have a time and date stamp after the picture is taken. I can put the time out. The time out is either in one minute, five minute, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes. So if you utilize the time out, and I have it on one right now, it will not take another picture until after one minute has passed. The resolution, I have it on high resolution because we want good quality pictures. And this is the burst feature. It slides between one and three. So every time um, the camera is tripped, three pictures will be taken. There is a video option, AVI. I'm not going to utilize that. It Us uses a lot of batteries. I'm going to use three. So every time this is tripped, it'll take three pictures. It'll reset after one minute, and then when it's tripped again, it'll take three pictures. Now we have it on auto. This allows flash to work at night. You could turn that on or off. We will leave it on auto so we can get night pictures. Okay, that's the basics of the WildView camera. We will be putting them out in different biotic communities around Arizona, and we will see what we get. Okay, this is camera number one. It's about four to five feet up on a ponderosa pine tree. This is mixed ponderosa pine forest. It's a little bit on the dry side because it's at about 5,500 feet elevation. Um, what I've done is this is the, the view for the camera looking out into this area. Uh, there's a nice backdrop behind there. According to the GPS, I have the latitude and longitude coordinates to share with you guys and the elevation here is 5,500 feet. Um, I have made one pile of cracked corn, about half a pound. I have uh, taken some old bratwurst from my house that I didn't want anymore. I put one up in this tree, hoping to bring some um, pred predators, car carnivores, scavengers, and I've broken one up on the ground. Um, that's what we're gonna go with, and we're gonna see what comes of this site. Still a little bit of snow here in the shade. Okay guys, site number two, 4,523 feet in elevation. Um, we got a small drainage running uh, next to us, and then we're in this kind of scrub oak, manzanita, uh, acacia habitat that I said likes the burn. We got the trail camera here. There's perspective from the camera is looking out that way through this little uh, clearing in the scrub. And again, we have the cracked corn and a couple bratwurst to see what we can bring in. This is what the countryside looks like in this area. Site number three has water. Camera sits right there in a shaded area along the stream. Camera number four. This is pinion juniper woodland, pretty dense. Um, I got a nice trail here. I put the cracked corn there, put a couple bratwurst in that bush, and I'm pretty sure there's going to be some animals walking. As you can see, we got some large droppings here and a pretty good trail through the pinion juniper woodland. All right, camera number, camera number four. Okay, this one is 
close to the Verde River. The Verde River is about um, 100 yards down there uh, in that direction. I got a trail camera up here in the Mesquite. We're in a Mesquite forest. Um, pretty dense Mesquite bosque. Up on the hillside is some uh, desert. Down below is some cottonwood and river. I've uh, stuck the bratwurst as usual onto a uh, stake that could be kind of interesting. And I've put some corn seed here. So again, this is what the countryside looks like. Some greens growing underneath the mesquites. And here is the trail camera. 3,200 feet, our lowest site. A lot of limestone deposits up on the hillsides behind me. Okay, let's see some activity.